How's it going guys? So, today I went to Barnes & Noble and picked up another Gundam. That's what I got. The RX-9C Narrative Gundam C-Pack. It's a uh, Anaheim Electronics multi-purpose test mobile suit. Can you see it? It almost... It looks a lot like the unicorn. You know? From uh, UC Unicorn. Or UC Gundam. Gundam UC. Um... So, I have this bad boy, which looks pretty cool. Then I have almost the same thing, but it's not the same thing, because it's a diver, which is also pretty cool. You see his hand is in the box, and his uh, pelvis uh, cockpit area is also in the box, just balls off you know so I have two 1 144 models and I just picked up another now let's open it slide off the plastic covering open it up Ooh, so as you can see, it comes with the flashy parts and the stickers, all the psycho frame uh, red with the gray and the white body. I think this is actually majority, yeah, it's everything, you know. Then you have more of uh, the frame. And even more body and more body probably legs and things and arms but it comes with the uh, Gundam NT mechanical report mobile suit book and it tells you all about it look at that artwork is pretty nice Even still, look at this. Then it comes with a book to build. You know, basic, lots of instructions. Uh, but I mean, it's step by step, so you can't really go wrong. See, I don't have a Gundam um, modeling kit where you can have clippers and things to make it look all pretty. What I have is um, a uh, box cutter and I just cut it really close and then I try and just make it look good for what it is. I mean later what I'm going to do is probably uh, get a kit and then I like to I like uh, watching on um, YouTube The Coup which is uh, this Pretty sure it's Korean. I don't know if it's Japanese, maybe, but um, it's a YouTube channel that shows a lot of cool stuff about building kits on Gunpla and stuff like that, and they make them look realistic with rust and things like that. So that's definitely what I'm going to get into with the paint and things like that. But for now, oh, and then I'm going to sand down all the areas that you have to cut off and things like that. But for now. I got a uh, box cutter which I mean it looks pretty nice it looks pretty sick I mean when you build it you don't really care if you know it looks like a little blemish I mean what I'm gonna eventually be able to do is get the kit get the sanding all down and you know um, probably get some sort of putty I don't really know what they do to make it look seamless but I'm going to look it up and I'm going to do it. It's going to be really good. It's going to be uh, so awesome. 
but the reason I got this was because it looked uh, a lot like the unicorn which I mean it's not the unicorn um, but that's okay it came after the unicorn and the phoenix which is cool um, but it's still looking really cool with the psycho frame it's all red and things like that so I'm gonna build it and then we're going to um, make another video and show you guys what it looks like when it's done and built uh, hopefully I get a whole setup to where you can watch me build it and I'll be able to time lapse and everything like that but right now I'm I don't have the equipment to do that but soon so if you guys like me talking about stuff like this uh, like and subscribe this is Van and I'm out in three two one